The authorship of the Quran is a topic of great debate and significance within Islamic studies. With over 1.8 billion followers, Islam is one of the world's major religions, and the Quran plays a central role in the faith. It is revered as the literal word of God, revealed to the Prophet Muhammad over a period of approximately 23 years. The complexity of the question, who wrote the Quran, arises from the belief among Muslims that it is of divine origin, while secular scholars approach it from historical and literary perspectives. Some traditional Islamic accounts assert that the Quran was verbally revealed by the angel Gabriel to Muhammad, who then recited it to his followers. The text was later compiled into a single book after the Prophet's death. However, critical scholars have put forward various theories regarding the authorship, including the possibility of multiple authors or later redaction of the text. The historical context surrounding the Quran's composition is also a point of contention, with discussions on the linguistic, cultural, and religious environment of pre-Islamic Arabia. The Quran's unique literary style and unmatched linguistic eloquence are additional dimensions that contribute to the ongoing debate surrounding its authorship. Prophet Muhammad Prophet Muhammad, the central figure of Islam, is considered to be the primary recipient of the Quranic revelations. Born in Mecca around 570 CE, he is believed to have received the messages of the Quran from the angel Gabriel, who delivered the divine revelations over a span of about 23 years, commencing in 610 CE. During this period, Muhammad began preaching the verses to his close companions and the wider community, gradually forming the basis of the Islamic faith. As Islam gained momentum, the Prophet's unwavering commitment to conveying the Quranic verses was pivotal. His authenticity and moral standing added unparalleled weight to the Quran's significance. Muslims hold that Muhammad, renowned for his honesty and integrity even before his prophethood, faithfully transmitted the verses to his followers, ensuring their accurate preservation. The Quran itself explicitly references Muhammad as the recipient of the revelations, validating his role as a conduit for God's word. It emphasizes his function as a messenger who does not speak from his own desires but conveys the divine message, solidifying his pivotal role in the Quran's transmission. Additionally, the unparalleled linguistic eloquence and literary beauty of the Quran further reinforce the belief in its divine origin as it surpasses any human capability. These aspects collectively underscore the foundational role of Prophet Muhammad in the revelation and dissemination of the Quran, shaping the understanding of its authorship and the Islamic faith. Oral Transmission and Compilation During the compilation of the Quran, the oral transmission of its verses played a crucial role due to the prevailing illiteracy among early Muslim followers. The memorization and recitation of the Quran were integral practices, with countless companions of the Prophet committing the verses to memory and orally transmitting them to others. This oral tradition ensured the preservation of the Quran's contents, as it was initially conveyed from person to person through spoken word. It's estimated that at least 22 of Muhammad's companions served as scribes, meticulously transcribing the Quranic revelations onto various materials, including parchments, stones, and bones. In this early phase, writing down the Quran served as a supplementary method of preservation alongside its oral dissemination. Following the death of Prophet Muhammad, the Quran faced a pivotal moment in its history during the Caliphate of Abu Bakr, the first leader of the Muslim community after the Prophet. Abu Bakr took decisive action to compile the scattered written verses of the Quran into a single manuscript to safeguard the text's integrity and prevent any discrepancies that might arise. This monumental task was undertaken by Zayd ibn Thabit, a close companion of the Prophet and a skilled scribe who had made substantial contributions to recording the Quran during Muhammad's lifetime. Zayd meticulously collected and arranged the Quranic verses from various written sources, ensuring the accuracy and completeness of the compilation. This process led to the creation of the first official written manuscript of the Quran, establishing a standardized text and laying the foundation for its subsequent dissemination and preservation.
This compilation not only provided a written record of the Quran, but also became the basis for the dissemination of the Quran beyond the Arabian Peninsula. The standardized manuscript was duplicated and dispatched to different regions under the rule of the expanding Islamic State. As a result, the Quran's textual uniformity was preserved and distributed widely, forming a cornerstone for the establishment of Islamic scholarship and the study of the Quran. The transition of the Quran from oral transmission to a compiled written form under Abu Bakr's caliphate marked a crucial turning point in its preservation and dissemination, shaping the course of its subsequent transmission and contributing to its enduring impact on Islamic civilization. Divine Authorship Muslims believe in the divine authorship of the Quran, considering it the literal word of God. The Quran's linguistic perfection is emphasized, and it is viewed as a miraculous work, with its linguistic and literary qualities described as inimitable. The Quran is considered the ultimate source of guidance, encompassing and culminating previous divine revelations, including the Torah and the Gospel. The preservation and unity of the message within the Quran are seen as evidence of its divine origin. It is noteworthy that the Quran consists of 114 chapters and over 6,000 verses, divided into Meccan and Medinan surahs. The Prophet Muhammad received the revelations of the Quran over a period of approximately 23 years, which were later compiled into a single book after his death under the Caliphate of Abu Bakr. The Quran is written in classical Arabic and is revered for its unique literary style and unmatched linguistic eloquence. Following the death of the Prophet, numerous written records of the Quran were compiled into a single manuscript by Zayed ibn Thabit, a close companion of the Prophet, ensuring accuracy and completeness. This standardized manuscript of the Quran formed the basis for its dissemination beyond the Arabian Peninsula, resulting in widespread textual uniformity and establishing a cornerstone for Islamic scholarship and the study of the Quran. Historical and Literary Criticism Historical and literary criticism of the Quran has been a subject of significant interest among scholars examining its composition and sources. While Muslims revere the Quran as the literal word of God, secular scholars have applied critical analysis to trace its origins. Some researchers propose that the Quran reflects the socio-political context of 7th century Arabia and may have drawn from earlier religious traditions and oral poetry. Notably, linguistic and thematic similarities between the Quran and pre-Islamic texts have been pointed out. For instance, scholars have observed parallels between Quranic narratives and stories from Jewish and Christian scriptures, such as the accounts of biblical prophets. Additionally, they have highlighted linguistic connections between the Quran and the poetry of the Jahiliya pre-Islamic era, suggesting a link between the literary traditions. Moreover, studies have indicated that certain Quranic passages address specific events and social issues of the time, implying a connection to the contemporary environment. Moreover, when examining the Quran's literary style, scholars have noted its unique linguistic features and eloquence, which have been a topic of extensive analysis. For instance, the rhythmic and melodious nature of the Quranic verses, coupled with its unmatched use of language, has attracted attention from linguists and literary critics. Moreover, the Quran's stylistic consistency, despite its chronological revelation over 23 years, has been a notable point of discussion. It has been documented that the Quran exhibits a remarkable coherence and thematic unity with recurring motifs and narratives throughout its chapters, reflecting a sophisticated literary structure. Furthermore, critical scholars have drawn attention to the process of Quranic compilation, particularly the involvement of early scribes and the preservation of its oral transmission. It is estimated that at least 22 companions of the Prophet Muhammad served as scribes, meticulously recording the divine revelations in various forms. The meticulous gathering and preservation of the Quranic verses during the Caliphate of Abu Bakr under the leadership of Zayed ibn Thabit have been a focus of historical scrutiny. Additionally, the transmission of the Quran beyond the Arabian Peninsula under the subsequent Caliphates has been a subject of scholarly inquiry, 
shedding light on the dissemination and standardization of the text. While these critical perspectives have provided valuable insights into the Quran's historical and literary dimensions, they have engendered ongoing scholarly debate and have not achieved universal acceptance within academic circles. The diverse interpretations and theories underscore the complex nature of the Quran's authorship and sources, adding layers to the comprehensive study of its origins and development. Conclusion The authorship of the Quran is a topic that continues to generate scholarly, religious, and philosophical discussions. For Muslims, the Quran is the verbatim word of God as conveyed to Prophet Muhammad, while secular scholars analyze its historical context and literary characteristics. The Quran's significance as a religious and literary work ensures that debates about its authorship will persist, making it a subject of enduring interest and inquiry. The Quran consists of 114 chapters and over 6,000 verses, which were revealed to Prophet Muhammad over a period of approximately 23 years, culminating in its compilation after his death under the Caliphate of Abu Bakr. Remarkably, the linguistic and literary qualities of the Quran are considered inimitable, contributing to its status as a miraculous work. The Quran is written in classical Arabic and its unique literary style and unmatched linguistic eloquence have captivated scholars and believers alike. Furthermore, the process of Quranic compilation involved at least 22 companions of the Prophet Muhammad serving as scribes, meticulously transcribing the divine revelations onto various materials. The pivotal moment in the Quran's history came during the Caliphate of Abu Bakr, when the scattered written verses were compiled into a single manuscript by Zayd ibn Thabit, ensuring textual uniformity and becoming the basis for its dissemination beyond the Arabian Peninsula. Additionally, the Quran's thematic unity and coherence have been subjects of extensive analysis, reflecting its sophisticated literary structure and enhancing its status as a divine revelation. Despite critical scholarly debates, the Quran's status as the literal word of God remains central in Islamic faith, and its literary and historical dimensions continue to fuel profound inquiries and diverse interpretations.